projecting the object on the screen, converting it to isometric projection, all right? So that picture on the screen is given in first angle projection, first angle projection, which means the picture at the top is what is the front view, then at the bottom is what is the plan view. So we are going to make point A as the lowest point, point A as the lowest point. So I'm going to advise you, let's project uh, the front view. Then from the front view, we get our plan and the other views. So I'm going to project that front view towards my right hand side there. So using my angle 30 degrees degrees set square, my angle 30 degrees set square, I'm drawing this first line here at angle 30 degrees. Remember, angle 30 degrees is what is the isometric plane. Okay, so after doing that, the total height, the total height is 65 plus 40. That's what that's 105. That is the mark of 105. Then from the bottom here is what is 40, 10, 20, 30, 40, which is it. So I'm going to also project those points isometrically in this one. Okay, so after doing that, after doing that, on that uh, front view, which I mentioned earlier, on that front view, we are Elements. having, we have a limit here, yeah, there is something like a web here, all right, and we're told that the height of the horizon is 20, so I pick the mark 20, which is this, on that mark 20, I'm going to watch isometric plane, on my isometric plane, all right, so let me project this area also. Then this area at the top here also isometrically. Okay, that's it. Then on our plan, on our plan, uh, we are told that the span from year to year is what? Uh, the span is uh, 100, 100. Right. And this, okay, so towards this area, we are told, we are told that the span is what? It's 150. And this is the mark of 150 right here okay on mark 100 yeah yeah okay that's it the distance at the shoe yeah the bottom here is what mark 20 10 from this end also is mark what mark 20 so i'm going to project them also i'm going to project this area isometrically okay like this okay so towards this area also okay so there is a rectangle okay there is a square box sitting at the midpoint there all right and we are told that the first map of that square box to the center from this edge here is 64 this is my mark 64 i'm going to project this isometrically for the mark 64 there okay so the dimension for the uh square box at the middle here is okay the dimension for the square box sitting right here is what is it's 75 so with 37.5 i place my compass on the mark of 64 here i strike it then i would i strike here so on those portion which i strike with distance of 37.5 i'm going to draw them what isometrically in that manner then the second mark here in this manner all right so after doing that uh, the span here is what is 100 so i'm going to measure uh 50 to get the half yeah the midpoint the midpoint here of 50 yeah that's it there so and so this isometrically all right then from that midpoint of mark 50 with the same 37.5 i'm going to strike here strike here then i'm also going to what project them isometrically in this form all right and in this form so from there i can now develop my what 
my square box my square box this position right to the top in this manner manner okay so i'm going to this way the height right here then i'm going to what project okay this way having this this way this this way having this this way and having this right from here down here okay so and never forget to do this area here all right then also this portion right here goes thus and also this portion right here goes this way okay so what do we have to do now the square web inside we are told that the span of that is what is 50 is 50 so all we have to do is this get the midpoint of this area on this plane and this plane so 75 divided by 2 is 37.5 okay so with 37.5 here i have it here with 37.5 here i have it here all right and with those points measured i'm going to project them this way and this way okay so from there okay so from there from this midpoint now i strike towards for cardinal point this radius 25 for the 50 mm box so third point and what and fourth point so wherever the arc touches the uh four lines i'm going to project them isometrically so on this plane it touches it right here then i'm what projecting it this way on this plane right here i'm projecting it what in this manner then right here on this plane i'm projecting it what in this manner then right here i'm projecting it what in this manner okay having that I'm going, to, I'm going to draw it out now with thick line thick line okay yeah all right so what else to show that there is a hole in there yeah to show that this area is web and the hole reaches the bottom as we can see because it shows hidden line on the front view so i'm going to what, draw this down here okay so then you do the what you do the dimension Okay, so this is the complete conversion of the picture on the screen towards into isometric drawing. All right, so kindly ensure you subscribe to this YouTube channel and also refer to your friends who might be in need of it. Thank you.